Greetings ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another wormhole video by Halor Sinclair. Today I want to go over how to jump into a wormhole that may or may not be yours, and even how to do a site and to find a site. Number one thing I want to stress is that wormholes are not safe, and so if you do plan on doing this, remember that your ship is lost as soon as it enters that wormhole. On the other hand, there's a lot of money in this and it's one of the most fun aspects in game, to me at least. Now. Number one thing you're going to need when you're going to be scanning things and finding things is going to be, of course, a probe launcher. Today I'm in a bomber. I wouldn't suggest bringing a bomber with, uh, to do scanning and things like that, but this is going to be just for demonstration and it's what I had on hand. So as you can see, I also have Sister's uh, core scanner probes in there. I want to make a quick note about the Sister's equipment. Um, if you're doing a lot of heavy scanning, and if you're doing things like null sec sites, really deep null sec sites, and C6 sites, it might be worth having a faction launcher, being a sister's launcher and sister's probes. But anything other than that, I say that just sister's probes are more than enough. Um, they are better than tech one probes, and I would suggest having sister's probes and a full set of only a full set of eight, I should say, would only cost you right around three mil, and their bonus is noticeable. So, without further ado, let's get to scanning something. So, because I'm cloaked, and you may be cloaked as well, you may want, you're going to have to decloak in order to launch your probes. So, let's go ahead and do that. You can do it pretty quick after decloaking. I do apologize for a little bit of frame rate lag. I'm in deep null sec today, just because it happened to be where we were. And I'm just waiting on my cloak to reset, so that way this nasty little Astero doesn't come and find me. And we're going to warp somewhere. After you launch your probes, especially if you're in a hostile territory, you're going to want to move because people can see where your probes kind of are if they, they're halfway decent at descanning. So we're going to go ahead and pop into the map here. And when I'm scanning something, my probes never leave pinpoint position, ever. As you can see, they fit a lot of the size bubbles, um, and the spread formation really doesn't do anything, uh, at least to me at least. If you're going to be combat scanning maybe, but that's a whole another video. So, now that we've got our probes launched, we're going to go on ahead and choose one of these things. Now, I'm going to go on ahead and scan something that I know where it is, which is going to be this wormhole here. Um, and that's just going to make this video go a little bit quicker without having to send you all through the monotony. Now, what I would do if I was actually scanning is I would start out at the smallest or largest that I could uh, fit in this bubble, which as you can see, this barely fits at the 4AU size. And, I would, and every time I'd scan it, I'd get another point, point I'd move it, and I'd decrease in size every time. And that's what I find to be the quickest way of scanning something. Now I'm going to go ahead and scan this real quick. Also, another note is the reason you can see a triangle on here um, is not because I have it bookmarked. It's actually because I recently came through this hole. If you ever forget to bookmark something, go on ahead and uh, hit that map real quick, and it'll show up as a triangle. You can one-shot scan it like I'm doing now. And I'm just trying to get this absolutely perfect, so that way we don't have to play games here. And I am using the old map as of today. You have to use the new map to scan anything, but you can still revert it back. So we're going to scan this down real quick. Also, if you're having issues scanning something, you can hold the Alt button and a bunch of arrows are going to show up. If you click and drag one of them, you'll be able to move them all closer like this. Now that we have it scanned, let's go ahead and get into warp. So now we're coming out of warp, and as you can see, the wormhole's right here. Now, normally what I would say is if you're in high sec or low sec even, I would say go on ahead and decloak and reload your probe launcher. But as you can see, there's an Astero on scan. He's been here for a little bit, and he's kind of worrying me. So I'm going to go on ahead and let my probes rest for now. Maybe we'll reload them once we get on the inside. Now, of course, like I said in the last video, I'm going to go on ahead and restress this, is that when you get to a wormhole, you need to do a couple of things. Go on ahead, hit that show info. And you're going to want to read through some things, what size ships can pass through it, how much time it has left, and how, how crit is it. Now, as you can see, this one has plenty of time left. It's nowhere near crit, and full-size ships can pass through this hole, being battleships and above. So I have nothing to worry here. So we're going to go ahead and bookmark this. Always, always bookmark this. You need to bookmark your exit and your entrances. So that way, if people need to come help you, if anything happens, you can get out. So we're going to go ahead and get through this wormhole. Now, if something was to happen, like if you were to enter combat or something, and you uh, got an aggression timer, 
Normally you wouldn't be able to jump through a gate. This is a wormhole. Wormholes you can jump through uh, with an aggression timer, and you can also jump through them at 5,000 meters rather than 2,500 uh, meters. And we're going to go ahead and enter this. I like to spam click it a little bit. Makes me feel better about the session change. I don't know. So, we're in the wormhole. Automatically hitting D scan just to see what's around. Next thing I'm going to do is bookmark this. Now we have a way in, we have a way out. Going to go ahead and take a look at the probe launcher. Doesn't look like very many people live here because, as you can see, all the combat sites have been run, which are the green sites. So, I'm going to go on ahead. I'm going to orbit this hole just past the point where I decloak. I'm going to reload my probe launcher. Normally you'd want to instantly cloak up as fast as you can so that way nobody can see you, but I'm not too terribly worried about it because I happen to know this hole is going to be a little bit clear. Now again, can't actually be sure. I'm going to go ahead and fire my probes, cloak back up. Now what I like to do is as soon as you launch them, get them off grid. This gives you a little more time because if someone's looking for you, they're gone and he can't see your probes anymore so he may have completely missed them. So we're going to go on ahead, go back out of here. I just want to take a quick look around. I can still see my probes unfortunately, that's fine. But I want to take a quick look around and see what kind of pauses are around. Now I would suggest having a tab on your overview which just has all the things, and I mean everything in EVE, and as such I have it here in my D-scan window. Now we can see everything. Enter bus customs offices. That's kind of a sign that there might not be anybody in here, but we're going to go ahead and scroll down. As you can see, a bunch of torpedo batteries and everything. If you see a bunch of stuff, keep scrolling, keep scrolling until you see a force field. If you see a force field, you know someone's here. They live here because that means the POS is online. If you don't see a force field and you see a ship maintenance array or something, time to call your friends. You're a rich man. But we're going to go on ahead and um, exclude that for today, and we're going to go on ahead and talk about doing a uh, relic site or something, because I know that's what's going to be most everybody's main attraction to a wormhole. Um, relics and datas can only be found in class 1, 2, and 3 wormholes. This basically means the low-end wormholes. Uh, class 4, 5, and 6 do not have null set quality datas and relics. Um, as I said in my last video, there's both combat and there's um, null set quality, and most people are looking for the null set quality ones because they have a bunch of money, they're quick and easy, there's no combat, and you can get out. So you're going to be in threes and under. Now. We're going to go ahead and exclude the whole scanning part, part for here because um, I actually already have everything scanned down. But normally you would just go on ahead and you'd scan your things and do whatever you do. Um, if you don't have a covert cloak, I would suggest launching your probes, choosing a random planet, warp into 100 off of it, and as soon as you land, cloak back up because then it's unlikely that people are going to find where you are. Please don't use the sun. What happens is, is if you use the sun, you're always going to land at the same spot. Um, if you warp at 100, other people are going to warp in at 100, and you'll be in the same spot. They're going to decloak you and kill you. Um, don't warp to the sun. Don't use the sun. Use other celestials. Um, if you feel brave, you can use um, moons, but moons often have posses on them. So that's why I usually just do 100 off a planet. And as you can see, there's not even a customs office around here. Nothing to decloak me. Barely anybody's going to find me, likely. Hit cloak. Start scanning. You're going to be the bane of everybody that's in here because they know you're in here. They can't do anything about it. So let's go ahead and act like I scanned down one of these sites. We're going to go to Les Garista's Relic. Now, if you're a brand new bro and you just want to figure out what's going on here and everything, I would go ahead and warp it 100 and cloak the instant you hit it. Because if you're in this wormhole and somebody's hunting you down because they know that you're here, they're going to go to their relic sites first because they know that's where everybody goes. So go ahead and warp it 100. Um, doing this, what's going to happen is you can go in there, you can bookmark a can, um, and you can warp directly to a can if need be, or if they have a uh, recon or something in there, you can easily see that. And it would appear as if I warped to the wrong one, so I'm going to warp to this one. This is a combat um, relic, and as you can see, the rats have already spawned, they're pretty quick at killing people. If something like this does happen, just calmly warp out. They likely aren't going to lock you fast enough. Some sites do scan, but the rats need to be pretty close for that and just get out. Don't worry about it too much. If something does happen or if you think that you really need to, cloak back up the instant you can. Um, I don't believe that wormhole rats can keep you from cloaking. So we're here at the uh, data site. This is one of the worst ones 
for anybody hunting and anybody actually doing them, because as you can see, things are miles away from the actual point. So what I would do is I would bookmark one of these. And as you can see, I can't actually just bookmark the can, but I can bookmark maybe this thing here in the center, and I'm like 60 kilometers closer than I would have been. Um, and if you really feel like it, you can slow boat into the center of them. That's a lot more effort than it's worth. So now you have the cans marked and everything. You can go ahead and do your uh, hacking, your scanning. If you have a covert cloak, I would say that you want to orbit at about 2,500 meters. You want to orbit that can. You don't want to be within 2,000 or 500 or anything like that, like a lot of people do, because what's going to happen is if someone's going to decloak on you, come to shoot you, and then boom, uh, you can't cloak up. If you see someone decloak real quick next to you, you can just hit that cloak, boom, you're gone. And you can try and get away from there. They may try and run into you to decloak you, but that's going to take some effort on their part. Um, if you don't have a covert cloak, I would go on ahead and still say orbit right at about 2,000, because that's going to give you a little bit of space so you don't bump off the can. So... You've gone ahead and you've done the um, hacking. You've gotten all your loot. It's time to leave. You've already got it bookmarked. I'm also going to talk real quick about gas sites. Um, because as I mentioned in the last video, there's some good gas here. In wormhole space, I should say. Um, here we have two gas sites. I'm not going to warp to them because I believe someone's going to ninja them later. And what I want to talk about was the ninja-ing. When you warp to a gas site, a timer starts. This timer is 20 minutes long. And what happens is at the end of that timer, the rats for that site spawn. Of course, as you can see, you have a 20 minute window to harvest as much gas as you can possibly get in your hold. A lot of people make a lot of money off this and call it gas huffing. You just automatically run in, get as much of the best gas you can, as soon as the rats spawn, you get out. When you're doing this, I would suggest bookmarking the cloud itself. You go to your overview, if you have a mining uh, preset, you can right click and uh, save it from there. And what this does, you can approach the bookmark. The bookmark will be almost 20 kilometers inside of the gas cloud. So if a bomber tries to come at you, he'll be 20 kilometers away because otherwise he'll decloak and you'll see him. It's that easy. So as you can see, that's a little bit of like a safety bubble around you. And uh, if he really is unlucky and it's a 30k gas cloud, he can't even point you without decloaking and burning into you. So you've seen how to do sites. You've seen how to jump in a wormhole. It's rather simple. Just keep yourself cloaked as much as you can. Don't go to the sun. If uh, you accidentally warp into a site that has rats, just calmly get out. Don't worry about it. And I would suggest scoping out your areas before you do them. Like I said, keep an eye on D-Scan. Even give the full size uh, or the full overview um, a go. So that way you know exactly what's here. And if you are really, really paranoid, and I would also suggest doing this and other things, um, make a safe halfway in between like warping to this site here. Or if you're at a planet or you just want to make one real quick, you can warp to a random planet and halfway in between just hit control B or you can even go into the peoples and places and hit add location and you can just automatically have a bookmark that's in the middle of space nobody can find you so if things hit the proverbial fan you can warp to that spot even if you're uncloaked they'll have to have combat scanners to get you so that's a nice little safe way so we've gone over all the things about sites we've gone over mostly just relic and data and gas and how to keep cloaked my name is Halor Sinclair. I'm going to leave you all at this. Fly safe.